The conversations are continuing. I have the pleasure of speaking right now with Gretchen Palick, award winner this evening for for casting for reality series for Queer Eye. Now, this is coming off of an Emmy win for reality casting as well. This is uh, wonderful. And now you've been honored by your peers, by fellow CDs. So what does that mean to you? It means everything. I'm not supposed to say this, but I'm going to say it. It means more than the Emmy, because these are my peers. And I think for us in Unscripted, this is only our second year Mm -hmm. being recognized. And uh, I think a lot of people thanked Laura Adler. She was so kind walking me through the process to become a member. And some of my teammates are in New York. So for me, this is everything. And I hope there's going to be many more in my future. If not, I'm here for the party. (laughs) Well, that's that's wonderful. I mean, congratulations. A great way to start the night, I think. Yeah. Um, Can you tell me a little bit more about uh, reality casting and how different that is from scripted programs and maybe how it's the same as well? Yeah. Well, I get this question quite a bit. I think equally are, are very, very difficult. I think for the type of casting and talent development I particularly do, um, you're finding people that do real things mm-hmm. that don't necessarily want to be on television. Mm-hmm. So I feel in scripted, you probably have a lot of people that know they want to be an actor, they want to be on camera. I'm sometimes plucking people from Idaho that mm-hmm. never would think that they're good enough or have something to say, and I'm convincing them that they want to do this, mm-hmm. and it's going to be good for them, and I'm going to stay with them along the way. So it's a little HR, and I've compared what we do to human resources. We recruit, which means we find, and we're very proactive in the way that we search, and then we stay with them through the life of their relationship with the platform or network, so we don't disappear. And then sometimes we fire, sometimes we promote, (laughs) and that's the good stuff. But I think a lot of us pride ourselves on our relationships with these people because when you pluck someone from obscurity, you have an obligation to make sure that they kind of make it out on the other side okay. A lot has been written about the chemistry of the Fab Five and how great they are together. It was probably a lot harder to put that ensemble together than it looks. Can you tell us a little bit about that process? Thousands. Mm. Thousands of funny, great, talented, camera-friendly men. Um, We looked at a lot, but that was about the chemistry. So even though there are some people that we met that probably could have hosted their own show and been fantastic, we ended up bringing 60 to 70, maybe even 80, to a hotel in Glendale, California, Mm. and trapped them all in for probably four to five days, and put them through a series of interview questions and camera tests and chemistry tests. And it sort of happened by accident. Mm -hmm. I um, love fishbowl questions. So while some people would be meeting with the Netflix executives, I'd have some of the cast just pour the potential talent, pull out questions from fishbowl. Mm -hmm. Some of them would be... um, very personal, someone would be funny, someone would be, what album would you bring on a desert island? But it was meant to see how the vibe would be. Can another talent let someone else speak? Do they pick up on their humor? Do they Mm -hmm. give them a place to sort of breathe? And I think we saw that quite quickly with Mm -hmm. the Fab Five. Um, It was a little bit of an uphill battle after that, and I think everyone wanted to make sure there was so much riding on the reboot that we had to be sure. But I think we knew, I knew from day two. Yeah, and now they're my heart, they're my family. Yeah. Well, congratulations again on a wonderful award. I hope you enjoy the rest of the night, and thank you for talking to me. I really appreciate your time. They're your great hosts. Thank you. Oh, call me. Thank call you me. So call much. me. Oh, we'll, we'll talk. Definitely. Okay, we'll talk. Yeah, eyewitnesses. <laughs> thank you.